Hi, it's Millie. Today I wanted to talk about time management, specifically focused on self-care or making time for ourselves. And I wanted to share with you the five most common mistakes and what to do about them. And you know this already, uh, carving out time for yourself and taking care of yourself to you know, relax, replenish, fill up your tank, to move, uh, to take care of your body is crucial for success in all areas of your life. And it's crucial for your well-being, for your health and your happiness and fulfillment. And even though we know how important it is to make time to take care of ourselves, it can be hard. It can be a struggle to find that time. And let's face it, we just live in a world that's constantly bombarded and overstimulated with noise, information, news, to-do lists, appointment, commitments, multitasking, and life is just busy. We are busy and sometimes it feels like we can't even come up for a breath of fresh air. And I truly believe that in order to become the best version of ourselves, we need to one, take care of ourselves, two, be strategic and smart with our time, and three, support from others and community. And being strategic and smart about how you manage your time and determining how you most want to spend your time and like anything else, it just requires awareness. So I wanted to share the most common mistakes and what to do about them. So mistake number one is putting too much on your plate. And if you want find yourself wanting to do all the things, the fear of missing out or wanting to please everybody and do everything for everybody, Adding more and more things to do to your already busy schedule is can be a recipe for disaster. It just leads to overwhelm, stress, and anxiety. And then trying to make time for yourself can be difficult, but when we do acknowledge that taking care of ourselves allows us to be more at ease, more at peace, more happy, more productive, more enthusiastic, more energetic, even more creative, it also allows us to be less reactive, less stressed, less worried, less anxious. And so when we're in this state, we are the best version of ourselves and we're able to take better care of the ones we love and able to do our best work. And that is truly why it's so important. And it's not about adding, like taking care of yourself is not about adding more to your already busy schedule. It's more about just putting the right things in your schedule. So what to do about it? You can take inventory of how you spend your time and you can just begin to eliminate everything that doesn't feel good. Anything that drains your energy, anything that stresses you out or anything that makes you feel bad. And of course, there's certain re responsibilities that maybe we don't like to do, uh, but we have to do and we can't let go of those. Uh, but if you pay attention, you'll find there are plenty of things that you can let go of. And when you do, you'll open the space and time and energy to take care of yourself. Mistake number two is making it too difficult and complicated for yourself. So you may be tempted to start off with like, oh, I'm gonna do all the things, right? All at once. And then you'll find like, oh, I didn't have time to do it. And then you'll be disappointed that you didn't do it. And for example, for me, it'd be like, okay, I'm going to practice yoga every day and I'm going to meditate for 30 minutes because that's what they recommend works best. And I'm going to exercise for an hour and I'm going to go for a walk in nature and spend time in nature and do this and do that. And after a busy day, that all just sounds exhausting, right? So instead, I ask you, how would it feel to ease into it, to make it simple, to make it easy and fun and joyful for you to do it, right? Because in the end, the whole point is to enjoy, right? And what if it doesn't have to look a certain way or what if you just simply do you? Like if you get that feeling like, oh, I want to move, then go move and do exercise or go for a walk. If you feel that feeling of like, oh, I really am tired and I need to rest, then rest. And if you miss a day of doing your yoga practice or working out or whatever it is that you want to do more consistently, don't be hard on yourself. Just be your biggest cheerleader use any negative emotion that comes up and just use that momentum to move forward in the direction that you most want. And in making things easy and simple when wanting to cultivate like healthier habits and time for self-care, 
I always recommend starting small and even doing this like sandwiching method and that's like putting it in between two things that you already normally do so for example for me okay I want to start uh, meditating more consistently so maybe I'm gonna wake up in the morning go pee quick and then meditate for just two minutes simply two minutes or maybe you want to do yoga more regularly so maybe you wake up and pee and just do a little bit of stretching and yoga in your bed just something super easy fun and joyful that you can add to things that you already do and when you attach this new like short and easy healthy habit with something that you already do without thinking it will help you to eventually make it a habit and then you no longer have to like think about it or think oh i have to make time for this and then Mistake number three is not clearing off your schedule from commitments, to-dos, or activities that aren't as important to you or that just don't make you feel good. And even also time warp suckers like scrolling through social media and binge watching shows. Those were two of mine. So being and staying busy is actually easy, right? But what if we consciously choose what we have in our calendars and choose to fill them with things that light us up? The things that feel good so when you do this inventory of activities um, and think about what you're going to let go make it a point to really let go of the things that you don't want to do as much so for example if you want to stop binge watching maybe just watch shows during the weekend or maybe promise yourself you're gonna only watch one show or if you're always scrolling on your phone maybe set a timer for 30 minutes, you're gonna enjoy your time on your phone for 30 minutes, when the alarm goes off, you're done. Put the phone away, move on, <laughs> right? So some of these things might not have to be completely eliminated from your life. Maybe it's just a matter of spending less time doing it and that way you'll have more time, energy, and to do the things that you most wanna do and maybe take care of yourself. And I'm just giving you here my own examples. You're going to find out your own and things that are more specific to you. So mistake number four is not scheduling in your me time in your calendar and not making it a priority. So whether it is to meditate or do yoga or journal or exercise or go outside in nature, if you don't schedule it and make yourself a priority and you're like the last one in your to-do list, then usually you'll end the day too tired to do it anyway. So treat your me time like it's a very important meeting with yourself, like a high level meeting with your boss, right? Or something very important in your life because yes, that meeting with yourself is that important or maybe even more important. And then mistake number five is going at it alone, not having the support, accountability and community that you need to succeed. Right, And this goes beyond succeeding at having a consistent practice or making time for self-care. It applies to everything that you want to accomplish in your life. Because I believe that to become the best version of yourself, to accomplish great things, to live your greatest life, you need support and you need community. And this is exactly why I decided to start the Yoga and Conscious Living membership community. It's your opportunity to dive deeper, to receive support, and get lasting results. I want the community to support you in embracing the power of yoga, meditation, mindfulness, positive thinking, self-reflection, gratitude, and personal development. I wanted to support you in stepping into your fullest potential and becoming the best version of yourself to build up your inner strength, your resilience, to overcome anything that comes your way, and to confidently, confidently pursue your goals and dreams and succeed in the pursuit of what matters most to you. And to live with intention and purpose aligned with your heart's truest desires. And all with guidance, support, accountability, uh, community, because I believe that the result of this is a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling life. I'll provide a link below with all the details so you can find what works for you. And thank you so much for sharing your precious time with me. Feel free to comment below your biggest takeaway from this conversation or anything else that you want to share with me. I'm happy and excited to share life's journey with you. Thank you so much for watching. From my heart to yours.